Hey guys, Spartan117GW here today, and we are taking a look at the newest iteration, the full production version, pretty much the gun that it was meant to be, the GDR15 or the GBLS DAS M4. This is the most recent up-to-date version. They fixed all the flaws, they've addressed all the issues, they've listened to all the feedback. This version, I was skeptical at first because the first version was pretty cool, really cool concept, kind of overpriced, and it had lots of flaws that kind of just get, hurt its ability to be gameable, to be used in a game. Um, but this, and they fixed everything. The wiring in the rear is better. Um, um, by that, it's not as big and clunky. The MOSFET's been moved inside, so now you have a much cleaner wire, so it's, you know, it's much easier to put your batteries in there. Um, you don't have blown fuses. You don't really have to worry about grease as much. If you do use lube, apparently they say you use CLP on the bolt but so don't use like grease like any other like grease or anything like that uh pretty pretty easy to maintain the hopper unit has been pretty much like completely overhauled is a new unit with a new hop up rubber um and the accuracy wow um this thing was shooting pretty damn straight and pretty damn flat first shot i hit a target at 100 feet about the size of a pepsi can uh on accident <laughs> but it shot straight as hell and it was pretty consistent enough that even with the stock iron sights, I was getting really good consistent hits um, at 100 feet and beyond on pretty good small size targets. Um, she's about 360 FPS, 365 or so. Um, and rate of fire is not too bad. I mean, you put an 11-1 LiPo and you're really gonna feel the recoil. Um, if you put the new Titan batteries in here, you're really gonna feel the recoil even more. And this thing really rocks. In terms of recoil, I would say, it's right up there with the gas pull back, maybe even more so. I mean, it is up there. Um, I think it's definitely more recoil than you'd probably feel on the ERG or, or a recoil shock. Um, and what's cool is that this price point now has actually dropped almost a thousand bucks. So yes, still expensive, but it's kind of marketed toward the guys who would normally be buying PTWs or for agencies and departments looking for the trading weapon that kind of fits all the needs. Yes, it's kind of expensive, but all the parts inside this gun are CNC. There's a lot of really expensive parts in this gun, a lot of R&D, a lot of work that went into making this. Uh, and it also comes with the best accessories. It literally comes with the Centurion Arms rail, it comes with the grip, and it comes with the stock. So it doesn't come with the sights and the enhanced charge panel and muzzle device and light and stuff like that. I added those myself. And by the way, it will take GMP uh, charging handles, so the PTS Mega uh, slide lock or the um, AXDS or Radian charging handle that PTS has, GMP version will fit, so it'll really pimp out your gun a little bit more. Um, but yes, like performance wise, I mean, that's the big thing here. The original version just had a host of problems. Um, it was still a really cool gun when it worked, uh, but it was lacking a little bit of range, definitely lacking accuracy. It just wasn't accurate as hell, uh, but, but it was really fun to shoot. Um, and uh, it was popping fuses, and it just, it was just a whole process just to get that gun to work. But now this gun is pretty damn pick up and go. Put the battery in, put the mag in, rack it to the rear and you're good to go. And if you want to understand the functionality of the DAS guns, you can watch my previous DAS gun video or you can just check this part out right here. So it pretty much works like a real AR. You take your mag in and if they had ammo in, because I have no batteries in this gun right now, uh, you'd put your mag in, you'd bring your bolt back, um, <laughs> You could actually just rack it, but since the mag is empty, it locks to the rear, uh, and you just give it a good thumb press, and this part is super satisfying. It's probably the best bolt release on any airsoft gun ever. Better than gas, better than any AG, better than anything. I mean, that just feels super satisfying. Um, and at that point, once you've pre-cocked the spring, essentially, the charging handle will have less tension, so it'll have a little bit less, it'll be lighter than a real AR, but um, when it's not pre-cocked, that's almost heavier than real AR. The trigger uh, has been lightened significantly. I think it was like five, six pounds before. Now it's like three, three and a quarter, three and a half pounds. It's pretty much the same exact um, poundage as a Scar, 8, uh, Scar H or a Mark 17 or whatever you want to call it. They pretty much match that spec. So it's 
got a very, very nice squeeze to it. Uh, and also, when it comes to the trigger reset and trigger control, um, you're definitely gonna feel that. It's really cool when the trigger resets and then you can shoot again. Um, you're definitely gonna feel that. And it's definitely not one of those guns that you're gonna be like spamming the trigger like crazy, um, but you can definitely shoot this pretty quick as well. Then full auto is a lot of fun. Definitely recommend at least an 11.1 with the 20C. Uh, if you get the Titan power battery, holy crap, this thing rocks and rolls on full auto, like really rocks and rolls. And if I didn't already mention, the recoil is ridiculous. Um, absolutely fantastic. And I think the gun is, it's pretty much what it was meant to be. This production version is everything that I wanted the gun to be. Because when the, the first version came out, it was cool and it was innovative and everything, but it just wasn't quite there and that part was kind of disappointing. But I'm telling you, I literally picked up this gun and like shot it outside and I hit my target the first time and it was a small target. And I was like, holy crap, what the hell do they do with this gun? It's absolutely amazing. Now, like I said, price point wise, it's not for everybody, but it has an audience and it has a market for it. It could potentially replace the PTW if this becomes popular enough. But if you are looking for a gun that is basically the most realistic AG that you can get, um, this is pretty much it. I mean, locking, the, locking that bolt to the rear, I mean, it is absolutely fantastic. It's a mark, remarkable engineering um, and, and work that they've done. And now that GBLS has a US office, customer service, customer support, pretty much all the, all, everything related to that has gotten much, much better. Um, and uh, it's definitely, I mean, it's almost like an elite club of people who have these, which is kind of cool too. Uh, but definitely a really fantastic gun. And if you're interested in checking this out, be sure to check out the GBLS USA website. Um, that's where they have this version available for sale. Uh, and you might see this uh, available at some re airsoft retailers in the future, or you never know. Um, and of course, like I said, cool bonus, it does come with a bunch of PTS accessories on it, which pretty much makes it like one of the coolest stock guns, just visually, coming out of the box. And uh, you never know, we might make APMs for this gun, that'd be pretty damn cool. Uh, so if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for your support. If you wanna watch the previous DAS video to kinda see where this gun's come from and to where it is now, go ahead and check that out. I think this could really be, I hate to say it, game changer, everyone always says that. But this, I mean, now that the performance and the reliability is there, I feel like this is a pretty pretty good gameable gun uh, for Milsim West, uh, for training events and stuff like that. Even at a regular skirmish, I mean, if you're running gas blowback gun, this could p potentially be a replacement. Again, though, like I said, price point wise, it's definitely pretty high. So, yeah. So if you guys like the video, go ahead and show your support. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm gonna be putting up some shooting tests and stuff like that, and. Um, hopefully get a chance to game this gun. This gun will also be at SHOT Show at the PTS booth if you want to get some hands on with it. Because uh, of course not everyone's got $17.50 to just drop on the gun just, just to have it. So if you guys want to check it out in person, we will have this at the PTS booth 4343 at SHOT Show 2018 this year. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW and I'll see you guys next time.